because it's becoming a hot topic, there's this really huge misconception that green design is a look. People say, oh, it's that zen look, or maybe it's sort of that modular and sort of modern look. But actually, green design can be any look that you want it to be. So I created the book to show many different styles, all of them green. And they're going for these buzzwords like bamboo. It's great fiber, it's very renewable, but it's not the end all be all where green is concerned. You need to ask, you know, are they using formaldehyde in that bamboo? Are they putting a toxic finish on that bamboo? Did they clear cut some land to get that bamboo? If they're doing any of those things, it's not as green as they're making it out to be. I think it's really important for consumers to ask questions. TheGreenGrades.com, which will help consumers to know which companies are really doing it right and which companies are maybe just talking the talk. People are no longer looking at it as just a trend or a phase or something fun to try out or even just something for their own lifestyle. It's become a necessity. And we're looking into every industry and figuring out, okay, how can we now do this better? And these things are becoming standards, not styles. If you're planning to do you know, a little remodel or a little freshen up, um, paint is such an easy thing. It's one of the things that people always say, let's just do a fresh coat of paint. And every paint company now offers either a no or low VOC option. And VOC is volatile organic compounds. So that's what you want. You want the no or low VOC. Ask your paint company if they have it, and um, you can have any color matched. You're not limited by any kind of muted tones or neutral colors or anything like that. So we always say paint is a real simple and easy one. It's a great idea to switch out your toilets and your sinks to low flow, low, um, low flush toilets, and that way you're saving some water. And that actually saves you money in the long run on your water bill, and same with your appliances. If you buy Energy Star refrigerator, washer, dryer, dishwasher, microwave even, those things run so much better. It's so much better for the environment and saves you money. And a little secret, they are quiet. They're so quiet, so you don't have that loud refrigerator buzzing noise going on and on and on into the night. And I think it's lovely. Okay, so here I have some samples that I brought that are just some um, examples of ways that you can grow green and still have a really great time with color, texture, things like that in your house. This is a wood sample and one of the biggest misconceptions is that you have to do bamboo flooring. You don't. This is FSC certified wood. FSC stands for the Forest Stewardship Council and the Forest Stewardship Council ensures that all of the wood that's being milled and chopped down is being cut down in an area that's sustainably harvested, meaning that they don't clear cut the land, they don't destroy any habitats, they're planting as many trees as they're cutting and also that the people who are working on it get paid a sustainable living wage and it's refinished or it's finished with a water-based finish so you can have anything you want where flooring is concerned you don't have to go with bamboo these are organic cotton sheets very very soft and as you can see nothing sacrificed in terms of that rich chocolate color and the and the blue marrow stripe this countertop is made out of recycled glass and concrete, something that would have ended up in landfill then becomes this beautiful product and it comes in all sorts of colors. Um, these towels, oh my gosh, these are my favorite. These are made out of bamboo and organic cotton and they are ridiculously soft. They're just so absorbent and I just, I had fallen in love with them the moment I saw them. They're from a company called Nandina and they also come in a ton of different colors. And then over here I have some different upholstery options. Everything from eco leather, which is actually leather, it's not a vegan product, but it's chrome free. All of the dyes are vegetable based and there's no chemicals in the tanning or hiding processes. And then we have a recycled polyester fabric here, which is very resilient and again, saves something from going into landfill. These are eco silk. They're vegetable dyed as well. And Eco Silk is, is a great product because it's not just eco from a perspective of um, an earth friendly thing, but it's also from an animal friendly way. They let the silkworms live out their entire natural life instead of doing something nasty to them, which normal conventional silk is made in a sad, sad way for the silkworm. So that's kind of sweet. Um, these other two fabrics here are made out of wool, which is obviously a natural resource. And you know they don't hurt the sheep to get that. And there, it's actually pure grow wool, which is what we try to promote most often. And that means that the sheep are treated in a way that um, we would we would approve of. And in this way, we feel like you know everyone doing a little bit is even more powerful than just a few people doing it all.